Hey Ross World, my money makes money. First and foremost, can we please win one game? One. Can we start off with one? Okay. I'm off of it. The number one reason why you are broke. The number one reason. For some strange reason, growing up in low income families, in low poverty areas, in urban neighborhoods, whether you're black, brown, yellow, or white. Now, depending on your parents' mindset, but I'm going to speak for the majority of what I know from my microcosm, okay, that, that's community, is that we always was told to save our money. Save your money, save your money, save your money, save your money. That's all we ever knew. We didn't get taught not to get into debt. We didn't get taught to get out of debt. We didn't get taught to invest. We didn't get taught to budget. We always was taught to save your money. Now why? Maybe sometimes they give a reason like, so you can have money when you're older. But no one actually told me, and maybe you were different, maybe you were actually you know, profitable of the information that you received, was that how to save your money. Okay, but first and foremost, that's not the only formula. That's not the only key. The way to be better off, the way to start your own business, the way that you can live a middle to high to even a rich life. These people invest, guys. I don't know how many times I got to say it. I know some of you are scared and you're thinking about what about in the 70s and 80s when all those rich people put their money in the stock market. And now those are some of the homeless people. Well, this is a thing. That doesn't occur anymore. Well, for smart people, because those world investors, the greatest world investors video I did, those guys invest heavily in index funds, okay? In index funds. The number one reason why you are broke is because you believe simply saving your money is going to get you to where you need to be. Now, if you do the rule of four or the rule of 72, it still won't get you where you need to be because that is not a guarantee. You have to attack this thing on all fronts, guys. You have to attack this thing on all fronts. This is the only way to solidify your retirement. This is the only way to solidify your riches, your income, your money, your revenue in years to come and also in your future. This is the thing. If you simply saved your money, you know I'm gonna bring it up. Inflation, inflation, okay? Inflation has been, now I looked it up to have an accurate number, 1.9, but come on, we're gonna say 2%. We're gonna say 2%. Now, some of the highest savings account out there uh, that has no minimum balance, no monthly fee, and you're gonna start depositing money, those accounts, right? Not the ones that charge you because you have X and million, millions of dollars, it's about 1.40, 1.45 at the highest. Now, we're only talking about those high-year savings accounts that doesn't require you to have a certain amount in your account that doesn't say, oh, you have to have an you know, ongoing allotment or a certain amount and doesn't charge you all the time. It's just free. Save your money. They're going to use your money to invest, etc. I got it. You got it. I'm off of it. It's 1.40, 1.45. Here's the thing. If inflation's at 2% and the highest savings account is at 1.5%, how much are you losing? The amount of money that you're losing is around 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So if you do the calculations, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 with your savings amount of 1.40, 1.45, I need you to think about that for a second because you're absolutely losing money every year. And someone's like, okay, inflation, what the hell is inflation? Simple. Every year, products go up. Electronics, food, your rent, electricity, water, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Everything goes up. The whole economy goes up. Gas goes up. You know, gas has been fluctuating for years, up and down, up and down. Cars go up. Everything essentially goes up. Now, granted, some things may go down, 
because maybe an executive order got signed, some legislation got signed, but it's not forever. Okay, eventually things equal out and always go up around 2%. So simply saving, you're going to be losing money. So, and I've said it before, the number one reason why you were broke is because you was not even taught, okay? You was probably not even taught and you don't have the information or the carriage. A lot of times when you have information, you're no longer scared to do something that you're like, oh, oh, investing is just like gambling. No, investing is dealt with solid companies, okay? Like say, for instance, I'm not gambling with Tesla. I bought Tesla at 200. Now look at Tesla. Yes, I made over 100, almost $200 off of Tesla. Gambling is rolling the die. And lucky, no, I did my research. I read the news. I did, you know, I looked at predictions. All of those things add up. Then also, what's important, the most important thing about any company is what are they doing with their company? Are they innovating? Are they inventing? Are they coming out with new products, new lines? Da 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 da. You get what I'm talking about here, guys. So saving is going to keep you broke. If you're broke now, but you say, oh man, I got 5,000 in the bank, you broke, bruh. Okay, now, yeah, there's some people broker than you. <laughs> there's some people broken than you, but I'm telling you that you are broke because $5,000 ain't nothing. If you're 40, now let me, let me throw it back a decade. If you're 30 and you only have $5,000 in the bank, okay, and we're talking about that doesn't include your emergency fund. That don't include that $1,000 that you're supposed to save on that challenge. That doesn't include any of your assets. You just got $5,000 in your savings account. As we speak, you are losing money. It's getting close, bro. October 1st. October 1st. Okay. Three more months. Okay. 10, 11, 12. And then boom, 2%. That's a year. Your account just went down. So I want you to really think about this, guys. Now, if you don't know anything about investing, hit me up in the comment section. I'm going to give you a link or the information to an app. It's on Android and it's on Apple. It's called How to Learn to Invest or Learn to Invest. Okay. And I will send you the link or I'll show you where to go. And you can simply go through this small, quick app. It gives you the nuggets. It gives you the meat and potatoes very, very quickly. And you're like, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And you would be sped up and learned how and why we invest. It's very important, guys, in order to do this because if you had any aspirations of starting your own business, if you have any aspiration of saving up for your future, if you have any idea what you're going to do with your kid's future when it comes to education or them starting their own business, I don't see how you're going to do it with just saving your money. I don't see it how you're going to do it without investing something because even with all these IRAs and 529 college plans they're investing your money they're investing your money they they're doing safe bet investing to multiply your money so when your child reaches uh, a senior or freshman year in college they have X amount of money and they are you know investing in the index funds and the ETFs now if you read the fine print nothing's guaranteed but the number one reason why you were broke it's because, because you are scared of the unknown. You are scared of the unknown. Not because of what you heard or, or what you thought you heard. That's a part of it. But the main reason is you don't know what the hell is going on in the stock market. You don't know what the hell is going on, period. And the only thing you need is information that will booster and boast you up to start investing and making money today. This is Ross World where education is key. It's the number one thing that you need. You don't have to go to school. I'm not, this is not go to a college video. This is not go to a trade school video. This is understanding and learning about investing. And I have the tools to give to you in order for you to learn this information and for you to be profitable. I'm out.